There are places in the universe where time stops. Where space bends so violently that light itself is trapped in an eternal scream. Today, we're going there. Our destination lies in another galaxy. In a region of space so hostile, so incomprehensibly violent, that every law of physics we know will be tested. Its name is Gargantua. A supermassive, yet fictional, black hole. 100 million times the mass of our sun. Imagined for the movie Interstellar. And in the next few minutes, you'll witness what no human eye has ever seen. Earth shrinks behind us. A memory. Already we're traveling faster than any spacecraft in history. But it's not enough. To reach Gargantua in a human lifetime, we'll need to tear a hole in reality itself. Watch as we engage the warp drive, a theoretical engine that compresses space in front of us and expands it behind us, creating a bubble that surfs the fabric of the cosmos. Out here between the stars, there's nothing. No air, no sound. The temperature is 2.7 degrees above absolute zero. Your body would freeze solid in seconds. Your blood would boil in the vacuum. This is the true emptiness, the void between worlds where ancient light from dead stars still travels millions of years after their final breath. But ahead, something stirs the darkness. This is the intergalactic void. The distance between galaxies is unimaginable. Out here, the universe reveals its true structure. Galaxies aren't scattered randomly through space. They form a cosmic web. Filaments of dark matter and luminous galaxies stretching across hundreds of millions of light years, surrounding vast voids of absolute emptiness. Look, do you see them? Galaxies. Thousands of them. Each one a city of stars. A collection of hundreds of billions of suns. There are spiral galaxies like our own. Others are elliptical, ancient, massive, filled with old red stars. also irregular ones, twisted and torn by gravitational interactions. Each one is an island universe. Each one could harbor life, civilizations, Beings looking up at their night sky, wondering if they're alone. 
and were passing them all like mile markers on an infinite highway. But something extraordinary is happening. The farther we travel, the further back in time we're looking. Light has a speed limit, fast but not infinite. When you look at the sun, you're seeing it as it was eight minutes ago. When you look at the nearest star, you're seeing it as it was four years ago. But out here, the galaxies were passing. We're seeing them as they were billions of years ago. When the universe was younger, hotter, more violent. The deeper we go, the closer we get to the beginning. To the moment when the universe was born in fire and fury. As we decelerate, we approach the destination galaxy. The one that hosts Gargantua. This supermassive black hole spins so fast that space-time itself is dragged around it at near light speed. There, the host galaxy of Gargantua, and at its center, dominating everything with its gravitational pull, lies the monster. This is where our journey becomes inevitable. Every trajectory leads toward the center, toward the event horizon, toward the singularity. There's no turning back now. Do you see it? That faint shimmer at the center? That's not a star. That's not a galaxy. That's space-time bending. Look closer. That glowing ring of fire? That's the accretion disk. Superheated matter, entire stars torn apart, spiraling faster than we can ever imagine, reaching temperatures of millions of degrees. This was our journey. Please tell us in the comments where we should go next.